What's up guys, it's Dr. Cloud here, and I'm bringing you a brand new recorded series for the channel, which is a little bit different than what we have been doing. We're going to be playing Pokemon Xenoverse for the next little while, and I already tried to start this once, as you can tell, uh, but unfortunately the recording got messed up, so we're going to be restarting this, and I'm doing modern mode, um, because I'm more invested into the story of this game than like the gameplay mechanics of it. So, just to let you guys know, this series is going to be going up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and... Nope. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. There we go. And... <clears throat> this series will be kind of going, like, uh, on and off with the live streams, so... That's pretty much how we're going to be moving forward on the channel for right now. And if you guys are excited about a brand new series starting... Make sure you hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button to continue on with any more fun goodness of Xenoverse. So, go ahead and get started into the story. <clears throat> Alright, so we got Priscilla here, very much Lysander-esque, and we're definitely going to be like reading through the dialogue of this game, because like that's kind of my big point of this, is the dialogue and the story, so. <clears throat> I can't wait any longer. Sir, come here, please. Ah, tell me. I have great news for you. Come. Wait, sorry. Follow me. Come on. I feel like I read at like a third grade level sometimes, so I apologize for that. There's a lot of screw ups and stutters. <sighs> Here we are. Let's play a game. Could you guess the sex of your baby? Do you think it's a boy or a girl? Uh, I'm gonna go boy, because I think this is the boy. Congratulations, sir. You guessed it. It's a beautiful baby boy. Come with me. Wouldn't that be interesting if a nurse was like, Hey, what's the sex of your baby? I guess that kind of is how it is. Anyways, Vercel, I'll leave the two of you alone for a bit. <clears throat> Clover, how do you feel? Look at the splendid child you gave birth to. Look how he smiles. The two of you look very alike. <clears throat> Dear, what do we call him? I want you to choose his name. I'm sure you'll find a lovely one. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to use my name being Cloud because, like, I want to be invested into the story, so. And I did forget that I have to, uh, use a keyboard for typing. How about Cloud, honey? Cloud, it sounds fantastic. I knew that you wouldn't let me down. <clears throat> Clover, don't overdo it. You should rest now. There's a lot of reading too right here at the beginning, so we're just kind of like getting through the story. Here we go. Time passed and Cloud grew up, spending days in a joyful family. Five years later. Get up, Cloud. Mom and I need to talk to you. I've decided it's time to show you some of the world out there. So today we're going to take, take a tour of the Nova Ranch. Come on, kid, let's go. Be careful. Whew. Look what a beautiful day it is. The fresh air always cheers me up. Come on, let's go, Cloud. I'm going to show you around our ranch. Come this way. Our first stop will be the farm. See those Pokemon grazing in the field over there? They're called Miltank, and they always provide us with delicious Moo Moo milk. In the evening, however, we close them in the barn to keep them safe. I want to show you something else. Come on, follow me. The sprite forms in this are very fun. They're a little bit lanky, but I do like them. And the hair looks really good. The waters of this pond are so clear. They put your mind at ease, don't you think? It's better now. Better, right? Come on, there's one last thing you need to see. 
I really feel like that's like foreshadowing into something too. They just randomly show you a pawn and like, it's better now. Do you see this little memorial cloud? It was erected in honor of your grandfather who left us years ago. But you're too young for these stories. And that's it. Now, let's get back home. Foreshadowing. Your grandfather left us many years ago. And you're too young for that. <clears throat> what? Well, there are three Pokeballs here. Did someone lose them? Cloud, stay here. I'm gonna go check. Mm hmm. It seems each one contains a Pokemon, a fire type, a grass type, and a water type. I had an idea, Cloud. Why don't you pick one? I could take care of it until you're old enough. Come on, choose the Pokemon you'd like best. Alright, so I'm gonna choose Trish out, Trish out again um, for my first one because it's a sound type, and I think sound type's a nice like thing to like look forward to and be more elaborate with. Because like, I don't know really what sound typing does very well. Alright, let's pick it. <clears throat> hey you! Hands off my Pokeballs! Random dark figure. With a Tyranitar! Ooh! Ooh. Blur leveled sleepy like a Saturday morning. Got them feels on me right now. It was just a nightmare. Oh yeah. It's weird that like you don't talk at all either. I found that a little strange. Alright, I don't have auto run yet either. I forgot you don't have the shoes. You're finally awake, my sleepy boy. Happy birthday, Cloud. Too bad your dad is not here to see how much you've grown. You know, he oh, he's always abroad for work. Darling, what's wrong? You seem upset. You told your mom about the nightmare. Well, the time has come. Come sit with me. Sounds like a nice little place. <laughs> It's probably not the best day, but I think you're old enough for this story now. What you just told me isn't a dream. Eleven years ago, your father decided to bring you outside of our ranch. Man, you're like 16 right now. I was pretty against that at the time. So worried about you two. Dad was with you though, so that reassured me. However, that day, no one came back. Days after, Nana Flora knocked on the door and it, in the middle of the night... What a relief finding you at the door. You were unconscious, and you had a ball with you, but your father was not there. I haven't seen him since that day. I'm sorry, I waited so long to tell you about this after years of lies. Darling, what, are you out of your mind? How can you think such a thing? You're not ready to go out and look for your father yet. You're still a child. We're working on it. I and Aster. It's not that easy for us to wait, but it's not that easy for us adults either. Don't insist, Cloud. There's no way in the world I'm changing my mind. If I were to lose you too, my only child, I. <sighs> An exclamation point. She sighs so often too. <sighs> Go to your room now. Just sigh four times in a row, and then go to your room. Interesting, interesting. <sighs> I'm still like waking up, I feel like. It's like almost noon on Saturday, and I'm still like trying to wake up. Kind of crazy. So I feel like I can make some claims about this game right now. Oh good, Trishot's suggesting I jump out the window. Let's go. Just kinda swan dive. Let's go. Nice. The tree broke my fall, good for me. Alright. I'm not giving Trish, Trish out a name 
because I want whoop, because I want to make sure that um, I know what the name of the Pokemon is like in the future so I don't want to start getting confused <clears throat> Right, mill 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 all right so i have a few theories about how the story of this game will go so for one i feel like your grandfather is going to play a part in it i don't feel like that was an offhanded comment um for two i feel like this pond or lake here that calms you is gonna have something to do with the pokemon later on and i, I definitely feel like your father's still alive there's a guy named Aster, who you don't see in the beginning of this game, and your moms have been spending time with as they look for your father. So that also made me very curious about what that means. <clears throat> There's not a floral. And okay. Hey, cloud! Oh ho, look at you, your mom is finally let you go out, huh? She probably realized that you're, she's shielding you too much. <laughs> well, you're about to start a journey that will make you run into a bunch of new Pokemon. Let me show you something then. As you can see, the grass here is taller than usual. That's where wild Pokemon live. But don't worry, you can catch them with these special gizmos called Pokeballs. Here, take some. Excellent. All right, put them Pokeballs away. However, you cannot you cannot catch a healthy Pokemon. You must weaken it first. After having battled for a bit, you can try to launch a Pokeball and cross your fingers you catch it. Why don't you give it a try? All right, so it's gonna be our first encounter right now. Oh, it's set. Okay. All right, because it's a Weedle, I'm just gonna straight up like just throw a ball at it. Like, I doubt Weedle is really going to be that hard to catch. Alright, cool. I hand on poison. Alright. Nice. Um, I'm still going to throw another ball. You were just a Weedle. I just don't feel like I can actually attack it. Hey, there we go. Mostly I'm catching this for dupes. All right, and there are achievements in this game, which I find super interesting. It eats its weight in leaves every day. It fends off attackers with the needle on its head. It eats seven pounds of leaves. Like, that's pretty impressive. All right, let's go for the nickname. Um. Let's see. I'm going to name this. You know, I think it's too too perfect. I'm going to name him Pinhead. Uh, I guess I missed my eye. I think Pinhead's just too perfect with him having like a point on his head. And just add him onto the party. I should have read down a floral, but I just forgot. Uh, well, I'm going to check out this Weedle real quick. I guess I probably should check out uh, our Trishot too. See, that's why I need the the name because like I'm gonna forget. There we go. So he's got Ember and Tackle. Um, he's got Keen Eye, which is nice. I don't think he has a nature, does he? Is nature not in this game? Oh, there we go. Bassy. <laughs> You're jolly. Oh, I see how they show it. Okay. Special defense up, speed down, and special attack up, speed up. That's actually pretty good. Alright. Well, I guess I'm going to continue on here. See if I can get another encounter. Maybe just right up here. Oh, where do you think you're going? Did you really want to run away without saying a word? What childish behavior. 
I know you miss your dad. Don't you think I feel the same? It's not easy to raise a child on your own. Do you really think a newbie like you could do more than two adults? You don't even imagine how dangerous the world is out there. Oh, let's go, Trishot. So, Trishot agrees with you. It had to happen sooner or later. Well, I see talk is cheap. Well then, prove to me you're worthy with this, with a Pokemon battle. I'm ready to teach you a lesson, if that's the only way I have to protect you. Come on. I imagine the, the Captain Falcon thing, uh, come on. I also just remembered that I had to add the Weedle uh, to the layout, so that's my bad. I'll try to add it, like, on time, actually. Alright, um, I'm pretty sure... Hold on, I just want to see what Trishot's better stat is. Attack, okay. So I feel like Tackle's gonna do more damage. And I literally got put to sleep, cool. Honestly, I think this battle is like a pretty tough one to lose because I think the Jigglypuff only has Endeavor and okay, so Endeavor is normal, so normal is not very effective on sound type. Okay, I'm asleep again. Come on now. Okay, thank you. I really did not want to lose battle right now, because, like, technically the Nuzlocke's already started because they gave me Pokeballs so early. And I learned Babble. Oh. Alright. Who am I kidding? I can't even change my own son's mind. How am I supposed to find a missing man? Cloud, I've seen the determination in your eyes. Is this really what you desire most in the world? Maybe Nana Floor is right. I shouldn't clip my child's wings. I had no right to keep you keep this from you for so long, but I did it only for your own sake. Uh, but now you know the truth. I'm sure you won't be happy ooh, to stay here without being able to help. And my reading skills. Okay, honey. I think you should leave the nest and grow up and mature. If this is what you want, then just go and embark on this great adventure through the Eldwi region. But remember, I'll always be here, and you'll always be welcome, whatever you need. Oh, right. Uh, the whole thing almost made me get your birthday present. Here we go. Running shoes. Sorry. <clears throat> now you have everything you need to reach Hard mm, Hadwarf City. Down there you'll meet Aster, an old friend of your dad's. I'm sure he'll give you some useful tips. Be careful and don't make me worry. Trishot, keep an eye on this brat, okay? Yeah, seems about right. Best of luck, my little man. I love you. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's more story stuff right now, right? Yeah. I think this is technically like the opening sequence of the game. I do think that as an opener is like pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm not on a new route yet. It does have like route markers like on the top, which is really good for me to know. So this is not a new encounter. Oh, I would have loved it. You mill? You, is that an I or an L? I think it's an L. So you, you, you mill? I'm going to go ahead and try to get a little bit more experience. Ooh, Babel is a really loud move. Not anticipating that. Go for the tackle. See if I can get maybe uh, the Weedle to evolve. It's interesting that they start you out with the experience share too. I 
probably just gonna like take these fights right now. <clears throat> Cause like I don't see them hurt hurting me at all. Sorry. It's it's just like a surprisingly loud move in my ears, so it keeps throwing me off. It's just <sighs> sorry. Hey there we go, Pinhead's level five. Alright, let's go ahead and fight this trainer. I'm not too worried about what he's saying. He's a backpacker. He's gonna fight me. Let's do it. His name's Luke. Yo, Game Boy Luke, what's up, bro? I'd actually be very down to, um, like, just be playing the Game Boy Luke theme right now, just for fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna timestamp it and see if I want to do it. You'll find out in post, like, you'll already know. Just go ahead and leave. Trash on him. Take him out. Yeah, let's go, Trash Hot. Hi, Luke. Uh, if you don't want to fight, you can just avoid their eyes. That's not exactly how that works, but... Oh, right, I was talking... I said this in the previous recording. So, in this game, there's a button that, like, you can just hold and you can, like, walk past trainers and stuff. Which, obviously, I'm not using because it's kind of busted and defeats the purpose. <clears throat> but, yeah, I, it's, like, an instant catch button, a walk a trainers button, um, and... Oh, and, like... If your move has an added effect, like Ember has a burn effect, it like makes sure that that happens every time. Like it's a very, it's a very busted button. <clears throat> I forget what it is now though. Like what the actual button is you press. The game volume for this is very loud. Probably gonna, <clears throat> probably gonna have to turn it down. Cause it's like hurting my ears. All right. Uh, looks like you're already used to Pokemon battles. Heck yeah, I am. Let me see if I can just lower this game volume a bit, cause it is like hurting my ears. How loud it is. There we go. All right. <clears throat> um. Oh yes, nice potion. And this is going to be the new route right here. All right, route one. Can I just, okay, I can't, dang. I was hoping I could. Because it forcibly like makes you go up here. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to nail this. Nyeh. Man, there's no way to get in there. Eh, you made my heart skip a beat. I thought you were a wild Pokemon attacking me. I'm gassy today, apparently. <clears> hmm. <throat> you really look like a Pokemon trainer, am I right? I never miss one. Yeah. My name is Addy. I just moved to this region. Yeah. I'm a big Pokemon enthusiast, and I know everything about them. But due to my age, I just observe their behavior and seek hidden treasures inside their dun dun dungeons called dens. You'll see, one day I'll catch them all. What'd you say? You've never heard of Pokemon Dens? Don't worry, that's why I'm here. See, these are Pokemon hideouts where they store their precious items they stumble across. Obviously, you can find Dens at every corner of the region, but remember that only one Pokemon can enter them, and sometimes a specific type is required. But you have to consider risk factor too. In fact, the Pokemon inside the den realized your buddy was there too. It wouldn't hesitate to immediately cast it out. You have a Pokemon with you? Why don't you try to infiltrate the den then? Yeah. Well, young trainer, it was nice meeting you. I wish you a prosperous career. Sayonara. I stumbled off across that word sayonara and like I did not know what that word was. I was like, what? what is that word? Because, like, I had never seen the word Sayonara written out. Oh, no. <sighs> Obviously, I want the Abra, but... 
That's so unfair, bro. There, there's no way I'm catching an Abra. Wow. That's so not cool. And I know there's other things here that are like cool that I can catch too. Um, I'm gonna check out this den. We got a little bit of time here. Oh. Interesting. Oh, that's it, okay. <laughs> cool. Um. All right, I guess I just leave then. That's super weird. All right, let's just, I'm super bummed still about missing out on that. Um, on the Abra, like you gave me the triple jiggle too. Like I, you know, I, I did all I could really. There it is, okay. Oh, you also have an Abra, nice. And Abra still can't attack. So it's just free experience, cool. I mean, I, I guess I'll take it. Like, you might get my Weedle to evolve. Oh, boy. Uh, no, Weedle evolves at 7, so not quite. Nice, nice. Pokeball, Pokeball. Alright, so I've already reached a point where, like, I'm no longer familiar with where I was from uh, the first time I tried to record this. So, this is all new territory. Had where city is just one step away, but you have to go through me first. Sounds good. I'll go right through you, bro. Oh, what's up, youngster? Already? Say with all the intensity and malice in my voice, already? Boom, gone. Spark owl. All right, let's go. Let's see if. It resists Babel. Nope. So, flying and electric don't resist sound. These are things you have to just, like test out and... Ooh, okay, he's got a Yemen. Ye Yelmen? I don't know, I still can't tell if that's an I or an L. I feel like if it is an I, then there needs to be more space. Well, no, look at Trisha. Yeah, I think it is an I, so it's a Yemen. All right, that's good. That's good for me now. All right, come on. Ah, dang it, I was hoping Weedle would hit level 7. You know, I bet he's super close too. Yeah, he... Okay, I'm going to quickly train him up. Because uh, we only have a little bit left here. And I want to see if I can get uh, an evolution in the first episode. I think that'd be kind of hype. Um, I guess we can just poison this thing, right? Nice, I only did one damage. We're good, we're good. Get the poison. Nope, alright. I mean, at least the Spark Owl doesn't have peck, though. Ooh, okay, we get a crit. Pinhead, let's go. Yeah, it's just their eyes look kind of weird in this game. They aren't quite spaced out enough. Oh, this is about the first episode that I really wanted. I think it's actually better than my original one, so I can't really be mad about it. Um, I would really love to get the poison, though. This pinhead is not doing a lot of damage to a Zigzagoon. Thank you. Alright, well, that kind of defeats the purpose of my poison now. Alright, so, since we are coming up here, like, close to the end of it, um... Let me know, guys, like, uh, are you excited for this series? Like, it's going to be going up four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And I think it's a nice game because I haven't played it at all. So it means that it's just complete surprise the entire time. I mean, I, that's what I think is really great about it. Is it something that's, like, completely unfamiliar? <clears throat> Cause it'd be very easy for me to play like Pokemon Emerald for like the 17th time or something. But instead, I get to play something that's just new. Alright, well, Yumen's gone. 
And you have poison and one more poison sting. I really didn't think it would take this many battles for me to get the experience I needed for a Weedle. But I guess I'm fighting like level um, twos. Sorry, my brain wasn't processing it. Nice, I poisoned it and now I... Okay, I was going to be curious about that. It's, yeah, it's synchronized. So I shouldn't have been poisoned. Alright, Spark Owl. Level 3, so it might be it. I actually would like to speed this up, but this game just does not have speed up at all. So, that's something you don't have to worry about. If you don't enjoy a speed up game, then you don't have to worry about that at all in this, in this series. Okay, one more battle. I'm a reap. I could have got a reap. I mean, I actually really would have liked having the Abra personally. But then again, Abra is completely useless for um, pretty much until level 16. So I guess I didn't really miss out on anything there. All right. And with that, we get our first evolution of the series in episode one. You can't say that about too many series. Nice. Way to go, you learned Harden. All right, so that's gonna be it for the series. We're gonna stop right outside the gate in case anything happens um, whenever I do go in. Sorry, I have to remember how to save. Yes, I do wanna lose my other one. There we go. Okay, guys, so I do hope you have enjoyed this first episode of this brand new series, and I hope you come back tomorrow for Tuesday for episode number two. Till then, peace out and have a good day.